To begin this journey into Middle-earth, you must first pass through a portal which will cleanse you of the worries and negative emotions most people feel in everyday life. Find a time when you are alone and will not be disturbed. Go somewhere comfortable, your bed, a sofa or a chair and sit back. Take a long, deep breath and imagine the roof and the walls around you melting away into a fading mist to reveal a spectacular panoramic view of the cosmos. Close your eyes and relax as a warm, brilliant light begins streaming down upon you. It is like sunlight, but filled with a blissful, healing energy, and sparkles through you like little stars, each starburst destroying any feelings of worry, illness or sadness. Enjoy bathing in this relaxing, warming light as you complete your transition in to Middle Earth. The first sound you hear is one of water being churned by a great mill wheel. You realize that you are lying back against a stack of hay, surrounded by its summery fragrance. A little to your left is a lane that crosses a small bridge close to the water mill. You get up and amble to the lane and cross over the bridge. Before you, the dry earth track cuts across small fields separated by hedgerows and round hill rises, portrayed against a blue sky dotted with puffy white clouds. There are trees on your left offering shade from the sun. You pause a moment hearing the sound of horses' hooves behind you. Turning round, you see a small, horse-drawn cart. The driver, a man in a grey robe and a rather battered, pointed hat, seems to be in no hurry. He nods at you as he goes by, eyes bright under thick grey eyebrows.
You begin to walk again, and see to your left a meadow bright with poppies and daisies, and butterflies dancing over grasses that rustle like a distant sea in the wind. There comes a sound of distant, childish voices laughing, and you see a group of tiny children playing across the field. They appear the size of one-year-old children. Their thick, curly hair bounces as they run. The girls wear chains of flowers. Their rosy faces are filled with joy. For these are halfling children, very small to our eyes, but filled with gaiety and happiness. One of them stops and waves at you before skipping away. The smell of hay is sleepy and rich in the air as you walk on slowly. In this sleepy Shire village, no one seems to be in a great hurry. The sun glints on the windows of the houses that appear built into the small mound-like hills rising before you. The old man pulls up in his cart and leads the horse to graze as he walks up to a round green door and knocks. Then, someone you cannot see opens the door and lets him in. Flower gardens stretch all along the village, offering cheerful colours of blue, pink, white and yellow. You hear bees droning, and the sound of shears cutting grass. The day is very warm, and windows across the village must be open, because you hear voices talking, someone laughing, and the clatter of cups. The flowers exhale perfume on you as you walk past them, and you see a brown-haired halfling clipping the grass. He smiles up at you as you pass him. From your elevated position, you stop to admire the view across the summery countryside and the river below you. From here, you can see the neat fields and notice a halfling driving a herd of sheep across a bridge. You hear again the distant sound of the children laughing. There is a wooden bench set into the bank here, padded with soft cushions. You amble over and sit down, leaning back against the deep, comfortable cushions. You smell lavender and giddy flowers, hear the bees and a blackbird singing from the big party tree. Somewhere nearby, chickens cluck peacefully, and from across the hayfields, a pheasant calls as you sink into a deep state of relaxation.
evening is coming on. As you sit on the bench, a gentle breeze touches your face, reminding you it's time to leave. The warm, brilliant light of the cosmos once again returns to bring you gently back into your own reality. As you are bathed once again by the wonderful healing light, you hear a distant fading voice saying, come back soon friend. The words echo in your mind as you see a halfling's bright smile slowly fading into the mist. The sound and light fades into a distant echo as you open your eyes and find yourself back in the place where you began, blessed with the knowledge you will always be welcome to return and enjoy the serenity of the village whenever you choose.